Let's pretend for a moment. Imitation is not the sincerest form of flattery. Watching a copy of something else in a side-by-side -side comparison reflects the faithful way the duplicate was made. It sells the idea that we can see how something was imitated by somebody else. Affectionate replicas are a staple of comedy. These referential takes on campy or dated pieces of pop culture can make us admire the forgery more than the original. We are also at a place in media where an entire generation revisits their past through irony, parody, and homage. Uh, now, uh, James, you've been in a lot of movies. Would you say that you know a lot about movies? I think I know, I know a fair amount about movies. James Franco's The Disaster Artist takes a ridiculed film and turns it into something people take seriously. If James Franco reshoots exact copies of scenes from The Room and A24 releases it, does that make it Franco's work? How does he win awards for imitating a terrible performance? Take a look at these reenactments. They are almost exactly the same. Tommy Wiseau is a failure for creating these scenes, yet James Franco is a success for recreating them? It's just as hard to make a bad film as a good one, and nobody sets out to make a bad film, not even Tommy Wiseau. But Franco set out to remake a bad film. These faithful recreations are tailor-made for the internet, and for an audience of people who can compare the original to the copy. Oh, oh hi, Johnny. Johnny. I didn't, I didn't know, know it was you. you. But what's so funny about a copy? I'm Hillary Rodham Clinton. Hey, great name. I'm Val. Oh. <laughs> what makes impressions fun? Uh-huh, uh you got six pieces of wings, you got fries, you got bread, you got cold slaw, but you don't have no hot sauce and mild sauce, huh? Does it even matter how accurate they are? James Franco likes to mock Tommy Wiseau. He tried to play James Dean. He quote James Dean, you're tearing me apart, Lisa. You know? But they have more in common than one might expect. They both idolize James Dean, for example. James Franco's previous efforts as writer, director, star have included earnest adaptations of classic literature as well as original screenplays. He has attempted hugely ambitious projects such as adapting William Faulkner novels, which despite being full of good intentions, were critical and financial failures. He has also helmed Interior Leather Bar, which is a pseudo-documentary built on the premise of reenacting deleted scenes from the original script of the controversial film Cruising. Franco seems to have a taste for faithfully recreating other films. Does he think that by producing an exact copy, he transforms them into something new? better? Eisenstein, the great Russian filmmaker, had this theory of montage and about how films should be edited and that if you juxtapose two different images, um, if it's done in the right way, the combination will create um, a third larger kind of meaning. The already blurry line between fantasy and reality gets challenged when real people become Hollywood facsimiles. I, I don't know which movie this is. Greg Sestero, the man who wrote the book that the disaster artist is based on, seems to be the only one who realizes how complex it is so, being Tommy Wiseau's best friend. You wanna hear? Best friend do exists. All right. Franco would not have won any awards were it not for Wiseau. And Wiseau would never have gotten this much recognition were it not for Franco. In this complicated time, irony, parody, and homage are all intertwined. Whoa, 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 whoa.